Hello and welcome to another C programming interview question that I will answer for you. And the question is, what does the keyword const mean? Well, long story short, the keyword const means read only in C programming. I wrote the test uh, program in order to show you what really const means. So let's begin. Const, we can use const in front of a variable type. And it basically will tell the compiler that this variable is read only and its value cannot be alterated at the runtime. Okay, for example, here we declared a variable b as a const, yeah, as a, const, uh, as a constant variable, and we initialize it with, uh, with a value, with 30. Uh, another important thing is that the const variables can only be initialized when we declare them. So if, uh, if I do something like this, um, const, in, okay, for example, x, uh, and I will not initialize it, and um, I initialize it here with a value. I will get a compilation error saying that variable x is read only. And if I try to print its, uh, its value, let's run it. Yeah, we get a random value here uh, because any local variables that is not initialized with a certain value gets a garbage value. Okay, let's proceed. Um, we have here const also may, uh, may be placed uh, when we are working with pointers. So we have here a pointer that is pointing to our constant integer. And um, when we declare this pointer to a constant integer, we initialized it with the address of b. b is a constant integer. Um, but because uh, the pointer itself is not constant, it just points to a constant variable, the pointer itself can be altered and make it to point to another variable. As we see here, we made it to point to another variable. So it points now to the address of uh, variable d, which is also a constant integer. Um, something like this will get an error because uh, the referencing operator, the star we have here, um, basically um, we are trying to alterate the value that is found at the address uh, at which the pointer points. So we will get here an error uh, saying that uh, this assignment or the location uh, that the pointer PTR is pointing is read only. It points to a constant. So basically we cannot modify constant variables. Um, if we try to print it, like as we did here, let, let me run again the program. If we try to print it, uh, PTR, it will print 21 because uh, here we, uh, we made uh, this pointer to point to the address of D and variable D is initialized with 21. This is why it prints 21. Let's see what else we have here. Um, here we print this, uh, this variable. I also have here a variable which is not constant, just to show you that this kind of variable can be altered anywhere in your program, as we did here. Uh, we print them. Um, here I declared, it's, it's not a good practice to declare variables like, like this anywhere in your code. So this here should be declared at the beginning of the program. In most of the programming languages, you will not get an error 
but it's a good practice to declare them at the beginning. Um, so what we have here is we declared uh, CPTR is a constant pointer to a constant integer. Uh, if we see the const before the star, it means that this pointer is also constant. So this pointer here is a constant pointer to a constant integer. We can also have constant pointer to not constant variables. It doesn't matter. And we initialized this uh, pointer here with the address of a constant integer, yeah, with the address of B. If we try to do uh, something like this, we will get an error because we are trying to modify the address that the pointer points to. So we will get an error. If we try to modify the pointer and make it to point to another variable, we will also get an error because the pointer is constant, yeah, uh, is a constant pointer and we initialize it with the address of a certain variable and it remains like this. Uh, another thing we have here is uh, this test this test function. This test function returns a constant integer and takes an integer as a parameter. We should put here const integer because b is also const integer, but it doesn't really uh, we don't get a warning or something for this. Uh, let me run again. So as we see, we I get only one warning. Uh, which saying that x is uh, initialized in this function. Yeah, right, is initialized. Uh, let's initialize it. Okay. Let me run again. Yeah, works fine now. Um, what we did here, this is a function. Uh, it takes uh, integer as a parameter, and we have here a local variable, which is also a constant integer, and we initialize it with the parameter that we get when we call this function. Um, this is okay. It, it will not get a compilation error, right? Uh, even if the, this parameter can be uh, different every time you call this function, because um, what really const does is um, to initialize when this function is called to initialize it with a certain value and make sure that um, after the declaration of this value variable it will not be alterated. So something like this, it's okay. Um, also we have here a variable called e, which is a global variable, and if we try to modify a global variable, which is constant, yeah, uh, we will get an error. Um, and after that, we return this uh, variable here, and we store it in variable a, a which is not constant e, and we. Pretty much that's it about const. Um, hope you enjoy it. Hope you like it. And hope is hope. I hope it, it is useful for you. And see you next time. Bye bye.